In one big city, two poor children lived in the neighborhood Kai and Gerda, who loved each other like brother and sister. Parents allowed them to walk to each other on the roof to visit and sit on a bench under the roses. In the warm season, they spent all their time here, inventing different games, and in the winter they loved to sit by the warm hearth and listen to amazing stories that their grandmother often told them. Once, when the children were looking at a picture book, Kai felt something prick him in the eye and heart these were the fragments of the mirror of the powerful lady the Snow Queen. Since then, the boy's behavior has changed dramatically he became angry, rude and cruel. One day, Kai went to bargaining and never returned. When Gerda found out about Kai's disappearance, she cried for a long time. But she was sure that Kai was alive, so she decided to go in search of him. For a long time Gerda walked through the forests, through the fields, and then she came across a wonderful house, buried in flowers. The hostess came out to her it was an old, old sorceress in a large straw hat. The old woman really liked Gerda, and therefore she bewitched the poor girl and left her with her forever. Gerda forgot about the purpose of her journey and spent a lot of time playing in the wonderful garden of the hospitable hostess. Once she accidentally saw a rose and remembered Kai, and immediately waking up from the magic, went on the road. On the way, Gerda met a big smart raven. He told the girl that he knew a princess who was about to get married, and her fiancé looked very much like Kai. The raven agreed to take Gerda to him. Once in the palace, Gerda managed to see the future prince unfortunately, it was not Kai. The princess, having heard the sad story of the girl, presented her with a golden carriage with a coachman and servants, as well as shoes, a muff and a wonderful dress. And Gerda hit the road. In the dark forest, the sparkling carriage immediately caught the eye of the robbers, who immediately attacked it. The robber took Gerda prisoner. She took Gerda to the robber's castle to show off her menagerie, which contained forest pigeons and reindeer from Lapland. Hearing the story of her captive, the robber took pity on her and released her along with the reindeer in search of Kai. The reindeer brought the girl to the old Lapland woman, who warmed and fed the exhausted girl. She wrote a few words on a dried cod to her friend Finn, who lived near the Snow Queen's palace, asking to help the girl. She explained to Gerda that the reason for Kai's bad behavior was the fragments of the mirror that hit his heart and eyes, and he would never be the same if the ice was not melted by the power of a warm loving heart. Gerda went to the palace of the Snow Queen alone no one dared approach the house of the powerful mistress. She was very cold and scared. Finding herself in the castle, Gerda was surprised how cold, deserted and dead he was. Soon she noticed Kai, who turned completely blue, almost blackened from the cold. The boy sat in a corner and tried to lay out the word eternity from the ice flows, because in this case he would have received the whole world and a pair of new skates as a gift from the Snow Queen. Gerda rushed to Kai, hugged him tightly and cried. With her hot tears, she melted the splinter stuck in the boy's heart. Having picked up, Kai also began to cry, and the second shard flowed out of his eyes along with tears. How happy they were to see each other. But there was no time for joy. They had to get out of the ice palace before the Snow Queen returned. When Kai and Gerda finally got out of the kingdom of the Snow Queen, they hurried home. On the way back, they met all the friends who helped Gerda in her search. 
At home, their favorite blooming roses were waiting for them, and everything that happened was soon forgotten by them, like a heavy dream. Once upon a time there was a little girl. Her name was Heidi. <coughs> Heidi's parents died and she was cared for by Aunt Deet. But one day she had to take the girl to her grandfather. He was not very talkative, as he lived in a small house in the mountains. And he found a job in another city, so she had to leave the girl with her grandfather for a while. The grandfather of the Alps is used to living alone far from people. Therefore, he was very happy with his granddaughter, but did not know how to show it. The old man arranged for her a small room in the attic. Heidi fell in love with her grandfather at first sight. A wonderful life in the mountains began for her. The day after arrival, Heidi met her grandfather's huge dog. She spent all her free time with him. One day, while walking the dog in the hills, she met the shepherd Peter, who was tending sheep in the meadow. The children became friends, and Peter began to take Heidi with him for walks in the mountains. Gambling all day, Heidi felt really happy. At the same time, she never forgot about her grandfather, and in everything she helped him around the house. One of her favorite things was to bake bread. Heidi brought it to Peter's mom, and she, in turn, gave the girl fresh goat milk. Summer is over and winter has come. Peter started going to school. But Heidi was still too young for school. Therefore, Aunt Deet returned for her to take the girl to the city and teach her at home after work. The grandfather of the Alps was very upset, but still let the granddaughter go so that she could learn to read and write. Heidi was also very upset, but her aunt promised to return her to the mountains soon. Arriving in the city, the aunt took the girl to a large beautiful house. There Heidi met the girl Clara. She could not walk and moved in a chair due to an accident that she experienced in early childhood. Auntie brought Heidi to this house to keep Clara company because she had no friends. The girls got along well and became real friends. Clara helped Heidi learn to read and write. Having got used to the new place, the girl began to feel freer. Clara also became very attached to her. But Heidi really missed the mountains and her grandfather. She had everything one could dream of, but she felt like she was in a golden cage. She even stopped eating. Aunt Deed immediately understood why her niece was sad. And I decided to send her back to her grandfather. Clara was very upset that Heidi had to leave. But the aunt promised that Clara would be able to come and visit Heidi next year. A year later, Clara came to Heidi's. She met Peter and the children became very good friends. They walked a lot in the mountains, breathed fresh air, and ate natural food. But after some time, Peter began to worry that Heidi would again leave with Clara in the city. And then one day he threw Clara's wheelchair off a cliff. He thought that this would solve all the problems. But it turned out that without a wheelchair and thanks to the fresh mountain air, Clara became much stronger. And after a while she was able to walk at all. And Deet could not believe her eyes. And Peter felt very ashamed of his act. He admitted that he had thrown Clara's wheelchair off the cliff. Of course the girls forgave him. And the happy friendship of the children has been preserved for life.